so guys we, we continue with the cognitive behavioral therapy um, still we are doing basics okay um, so one of the main foundation for therapy in general is, is to journal your feeling and your thoughts and behavior so I want to highlight that it is very important to journal because to practice what you learn in CBT, you need to write it down. Like you write down your feeling, your thoughts, and uh, your behavior every day and see if there is something irrational and or something that uh, doesn't make sense. You can replace it with more rational. I don't want to say something negative and then you replace it with positive because the goal for CBT is replace the irrational with more like rational. Um, and when you journal, uh, try to keep it simple, uh, also keep it private. And I prefer if you can do it daily, at least twice a week, gonna change your life. Uh, maybe to exercise, you know, physical activity. This is something that change your life. This one will change your life too. Um, uh, it's gonna help you to process your feeling, it improve your emotional intelligence self-awareness, self-esteem, self-confidence, reduce uh, stress and anxiety and all these negative feeling and again to practice what you learn here with uh, CBT. Uh, l last time uh, we mentioned that about the CBT that uh, the main idea is to change the thoughts so this is gonna change your feeling and then when you change your feeling it's gonna change your behavior. This is the model we use in this kind of therapy. It's different from, diff like every therapy has a different technique and different benefit, but this is the model how it, how it works. And uh, 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 I give here an example. I think I mentioned the same example, like a um, few sessions um, uh, ago. Um, this is someone who have depression. You know, when you have depression, you're gonna wake up with, uh, negative thoughts this guy he uh, wake up with uh, these two negative thoughts I there is no point I will only mess up again if you attend um, our, our previous session we, we we call this hopelessness and helplessness right there is no point we, this is a core belief it is hopeless and helpless I will only uh, mess up again this is a core belief this comes of uh, this is automatic thoughts that come from a core belief which i am a failure or i am unlovable or uh, I, i'm worthless so these negative thoughts are gonna end up with more uh, negative feeling like depression and uh, fatigue which end up with negative behavior uh, you're gonna stay in bed and pull up covers over your head and if this continue eventually you're gonna lose your job so you see if if we try to work here on our thoughts you know and we replace these negative irrational thoughts with more something realistic it's gonna change the way you feel about yourself and the world and the people around you and it's gonna change your behavior and reactions to others uh, another example here about an anxiety people who have an anxiety they have an anxiety thoughts right um I, I feel bad so it must be bad like I, I feel something uh, dangerous gonna happen so this is a fact because I feel it this means there is something bad gonna happen okay we we call this you know, from previous session it is emotional reasoning right uh, I, I can't cope with whatever is happening so this is helplessness um, something terrible is gonna uh, is going to happen this is a prediction for future and the catastrophization you know these uh, 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 core belief and uh, these labels that I'm giving these these are the foundation for CBT we say we talked last time there is a uh, core beliefs there is something called the cognitive distortion um, these can if they are negative they're gonna cause um, an anxiety and depression and as we see if you think this way you have these automatic thoughts all the time you'll have an anxiety and you're going to feel anxious and fearful and also you'll have the physical symptoms of an anxiety heart racing tingling numbness headache blurry vision uh, and uh, it's going to change your behavior you're going to avoid lots of activities and places and you're going to escape from lots of uh, uh, events and uh, 
or sometimes people will choose to cope with this feeling with addiction and addictive drugs or alcohol um, so the, again the treatment will be working mainly on the thoughts uh, another example here for anger anger uh, some people need anger management treatment right um, one of the ways to treat anger is to look at the thoughts uh, this is this guy was cut uh, up by another driver okay the the first automatic thoughts that came to his mind or her mind oh this idiot intentionally cut me up or I'll teach him or um, uh, uh, this is unfair or something like that um, or this, this this is disrespect so just collection of negative thoughts that end up with anger and heart racing and negative feeling which are gonna end up with negative behavior we always we sorry we, we sometimes you encounter this behavior like someone give you a finger or stare at you or shout at you or make rude gesture or uh, this kind of uh, behavior it comes from road rage right and according to this model of treatment road rage will be caused by negative thoughts and irrational thoughts uh, that people doing this intentionally or uh, this is disrespect something like that so anyway we, we try whatever the problem is anger or anxiety or depression we try to fix and replace the thoughts right um, again I wanna make sure you know that we are not trying to be positive all the time we're trying as much as we can we become rational and there is difference you know rational thinking be focus on probability and likelihood and pattern and evidence so if you feel if you have an anxiety and you feel something dangerous gonna happen and you believe this is a fact that it's something serious gonna happen okay we need to assess the probability and the likelihood and evidence for these kind of thoughts and these kind of behaviors that you have associated with these thoughts so you see I, I, I life has some negative uh, aspect too and uh, sometimes we need to see the negative no, don't ignore it to be able to fix it okay but if you see only the negative in your life you don't see anything positive this is need to be uh, replaced or fixed uh, uh, and again it is helpful to focus on positive but also not to ignore reality of negatives in our lives um, this part also is good for uh, CBT in general we said journal is important like right? to journal your feelings this is something you have to do whatever kind of therapy that you are doing now with whoever therapist or doctor you are seeing you know if you don't journal you will not change so you need to do it it's gonna feel weird at the beginning it's gonna feel weird that you put your thoughts and feeling and and what if someone read it or what if something happened or wh wh why I'm putting this um, but uh, do it three months you're gonna be a different person um, and people will ask me what should I write what, what, what should I write easy you're gonna write that thoughts feeling behavior thoughts feeling behavior or if you don't want to do it th this way just write whatever you want just write whatever you're thinking about you don't have to classify sometimes people will overthink it is it a feeling is it a thought is it a reaction what should I write just write what you think about that's it start uh, the starting point write whatever you think about and the life will change another thing you, you need to have is a daily affirmation okay it could be quotes so you're gonna uh, like a motivational quote or something you put it on a sticky note uh, on your fridge on your desktop uh, it could be the screen background 
in your iPhone, but whatever, like you, you need some daily affirmation. Some people will use daily prayers. If you are religious, it becomes easier for people to use that. Uh, oh, God will help me, God will support me, like stuff like that. So uh, for people who have it already part of the rituals for uh, religious practices, but if you don't have that, uh, you know, at least have certain quotes uh, or a statement or affirmation and I put here lots of them you know uh, I am worthy and I am good I'm a loving person uh, I'm calm I can set boundaries with others um, today I have confidence uh, I can be playful I forgive myself for whatever and you put here what you want to forgive yourself for um, I open my heart to my inner child like all of them I trust this in the serenity my higher power provide like whatever is a, a statement uh, that reassure you and give you confidence and positive energy and again if you go codependence you know coda I'm not sure if you're familiar with coda codependency anonymous codependency anonymous it's like Alcoholic Anonymous, but it is a group for addiction, for recovery from addiction for relationships. Yeah, Alcoholic Anonymous is a group therapy for uh, people struggling with alcohol problem. There are people who are uh, struggling with relationship problems. So there is there are meetings for them. Anyway, they have a website. It's called the CODA website. You'll find affirmation if you put affirmation statement coda you you you're gonna get all of them um, so we talked today thoughts feeling behavior right we talked about journal you need to journal every day right we talked about positive affirmation you need some positive affirmation something to bring a positive energy I, I can't specify which statement will help you with your day, but you are the one. Read the coda list, all of them, and choose the one, pick the one that you feel you can. it can resonate with you and with your life. Okay, so another part also of the CBT is, we talked about it last time, is the core beliefs. You know, some people will have these negative beliefs about themselves, about others. Like, I am a failure, I am hopeless, I am helpless, I can't trust anyone, nobody can uh, uh, fulfill my emotional needs, uh, mistrust, like these kind of things. So these negative core beliefs, um, there is also positive core beliefs, like you see people who are, I can succeed, don't worry, I can do it. You know, no, I can love and be loved, even if I... I'm going into in separation now, that's fine. I, you know, I can attract people. Um, there are people who will be interested in me. I can start a relationship, I'm fine. So you see the positive belief. Some people will have no a negative belief. I'm unlovable, nobody cares about me. People will hurt me. And you know, you, what you hold in mind tended to manifest within within limits. Uh, so it's better to keep like positive uh, and hope uh, for the positive uh, to attract positivity but anyway why some people have negative core beliefs it, you know these beliefs it comes from past experience from p childhood uh, upbringing from your culture from your face from your values from uh, current situation like a, a if, if there is higher rates of unemployment, lots of people will believe in being like a loser or a failure. So the circumstances can affect the beliefs of people. Also genetic, there are people are genetically predisposed to accept the negative beliefs. Okay, and if you have kids, you will know, if you have like two, three, four, five kids, you can tell that even you provide the same environment, you'll find some people, some kids, you know, are prone to accept criticism uh, and 
see only the negative in themselves and some kids are just positive they don't care even if they are abused whatever kind of abuse there is positivity that nobody can take it can take it from them uh, okay this one is a little bit complicated but i hope you get it what i'm gonna say now is the same is what i'm gonna say here this is the, are the last two slides but are very important if you grasp what I mean by this, uh, you, you will get what we are trying to change with CBT. See this guy, you see, okay. You know, he has a lens. You know, if you, if you, if you have a prescription, a doctor prescription, and the, the lens is green, you're gonna see everything in green, right? If the lens is blue, you're gonna see everything in blue. Easy, if the lens is gray, you're gonna see everything in gray. Um, so this guy, he had a negative childhood experience, was hurt by others and abused and all of this bad stuff. So he started to have a belief, a lens through which he perceived the world. The belief was, or the lens, that others will hurt me, the world is dangerous, I am unlovable, I, I have to please others so they won't hurt me. This kind of belief, he have it. Whatever you're gonna give it a name, failure, mistrust, whatever, he has it. By the way, these kind of beliefs it bring thousands of automatic thoughts. Could be so. I'm a failure. Uh, this one belief, I am a failure, gonna br b bring tons running automatic thoughts every day. These beliefs and the thoughts you're gonna see the world through them. So this guy who believes the world is dangerous and nobody love him or her, uh, uh, he gonna see situation threatening and dangerous, any situation. And he gonna interpret other people's words and reaction critical and threatening. This is how he see people, okay? So if, if he see all life like that, he gonna be passive, he gonna avoid uh, eye contact, he, will be introverted, he will be anxious most of the time, depressed. Um, he will have more negative thoughts like nobody likes me, I'm stupid, I'm useless. Okay? So in, in CBT we try to fix this core belief because we know that if we fix this, life will change. However, again, at 60, I, I don't want to say 60%, like a, a major part of this process is also genetic, okay? So some kids will, will not go through negative childhood experience. However, they still see the world as dangerous and they see and perceive themselves as unlovable and useless, okay? Even the parent and um, school and friends and provide positive experience but this is how they see life so uh, I don't want you to keep blaming the past as if this is the only factor that causing mental illness it is one of the factors if you attend with me Tuesday we were talking on Tuesday what is causing mental illness and we you, you know you learned uh, that what causes mental illness is multiple factor one of them genetic one of them past experience, one of them prenatal, like what happened during the pregnancy, uh, also drugs, uh, uh, infection, all this stuff, okay? So, but anyway, let's go back. There is part of the mental illness is the way you think. This is, is the part we're trying to work on. Okay, so if this guy, we try some way to convince him that the world is not dangerous, and you are not unlovable, you are lovable, you can love and be loved, and you can succeed, you are not useless. His life will change and the lens will change. Okay, another way to grasp it is the mental crusher. Forget about mental now, the crusher, crush, you know crush. This is a machine, you know machine? Uh, this machine is doing one job, to crush 
all shapes to make it rectangle you see this is rectangle right this is explosion or a star shape this is circular shape this is a square this is triangle right different shapes any one of them when they go this way they crushed to be rectangular this one go here crushed to be rectangular is the same way when you have a negative core belief okay i am unlovable no matter what people gonna say and situation and the people words and reaction you're gonna crush it to fit into your belief system which is you are unlovable so let's say you go attend a, a class or your work or whatever and your colleague uh, give you a compliment and he 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 mentioned that uh, you look nice today or you you look great today you're gonna crush it this is a compliment you're gonna crush it and you, you're gonna uh, perceive it in your mind that oh he they just uh, pity me or uh, they just uh, they don't mean it or uh, or no, no, they pretended to be nice. These guys, I know them. They pretended to be nice, but I know in future they're going to hurt me. I know, I know, no. This happened before, and I know it's going to happen again. So you see how I, I interpret the situation as negative and threatening and dangerous sometimes. Even anyone can look at it and see it very positive, but you are crushing everything positive to make it fit your belief system. Does it make sense? I, ho I hope this gonna, so the crusher, you can use it to imagine what we are trying to do with CBT or the lens, also something to help you understand what we are talking about. Um, the questions, the exercises that we will have today is, these are the three things we learned today. Would you consider journal daily or not? Tell me, I want you, are you going to consider? Because I believe it is very important. And if you are not, tell me what are the barriers that prevent you from journaling and how to get rid of them. So this is the first question. Would you consider journaling? That's it. If not, tell me why. If there is barriers, tell me what are the barriers. And tell me if you believe you can remove the barrier, tell me how you're going to get rid of them. This is what one question another question is what positive affirmation statement would you start using i give you lots of example i am lovable god loves me um i can forgive myself i can set boundary whatever is statement positive affirmation that you want to use or a quote or a verse from the bible or um any anything Anything that give you positivity? Tell me what are they? Um, at least two of them, two positive statements. Uh, another, the last question is, give me an example for a mental crusher. You had in the past or you have it now? I give you example, this guy, he believe I am unlovable. So people give him compliment, he didn't accept it. He believe, okay, they don't mean it. Oh, these people pretend to be nice, but they are not nice. Oh, they are. They pity me. They don't. Uh, they, I, I don't look great today, or, or 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 I don't look good today. So you see, he crushing this stuff to make it fit his own interpretation and core belief. Tell me if you have one of them, and tell me example. Maybe you have a problem with the failure one, or unlovable one, like this guy, um, or hopeless, or mistrust or uh, vulnerability um, whatever is uh, um, or, uh, or, or useless or worthless or um, helpless nobody can help me and I can't help myself and I can't cope with life so again three questions think about them would you it's easy question first question would you consider journal tell me yes or no if no what are the barrier if yes but there are barrier tell me what are the barrier how are you gonna fix it um, tell me two or three uh, affirmation statement and to give me 
an example for a mental crusher. If you don't understand the concept, I because I give this presentation many times, so some people don't get it. They don't get what I mean by crush. Give me the lens. What is the lens through which you see life? Some people will have blue, green, gray, which I mean like you have a lens of failure, hopelessness, helplessness, worthlessness, uh, vulnerability, mistrust. Tell me the lens or the crusher that you have. Give you a few, a few minutes to think about it. Okay, so we'll come back.